Hello everyone, welcome back. This is part five from Python Open PY Excel, where we will be explore and learn how we can create the pivot table and how we can insert the pivot table in a specific worksheet. So guys, if you are not aware how we can utilize the Python Open PY Excel modules for handling Excel report and analysis. So I will recommend to watch the previous tutorials based on the Open PY Excel. All right. And that particular link I will be shared in the description below. And for this session, let's discuss how we can create the pivot table using this package. So guys, pivot table is very essential part to summarize the information. And based on the pivot table, we can perform any kind of aggregation operations. All right. So to apply the pivot tables and insert into the Excel worksheet, it is a very easy part using Python and its supportive libraries. So first of all, I need open PY Excel. And I want to import workbook and from the same library, I need utils and data frame. And I'm going to import data frame to rows. And guys, apart from that, I need, let's say from the open PY Excel, I want to import the load workbook and I need pandas as speed. So these are the basics library I need, right? So first of all, I am reading the data with the help of pandas, right? So simple PD dot read Excel. And I am going to supply here the superstore dot Excel SX. Now DF dot head of only first two records I am going to display. So guys, this is my data. All right. Now what I'm doing here, first of all, I am going to creating the reports, creating the reports based on pivot tables or you can say that I'm going to create a summary right based on some specific column. So these are the column I have in this workbook. So first of all, let's say pivot table and I am going to supply here pandas pivot tables. Okay. So we have already created our interactive video to understand the pivot table in great details. Okay. And I will be provide that link as well. So let's say DF in the values, right? What I want, I need only few column, let's say sales and I need quantity and I need profit. Only these three columns I want from the data and here index equal to, okay. So based on the category, I want to supply here. And again, the category, I need only the single column that is called segment. And here the aggregation functions. So by default, pandas pivot table will apply the average of the data or average of your aggregated column. All right. So, but right now I want to supply, let's say the column name is a sales. I want as a sum and here the quantity also, I need some and from profit also, I need some simple. Now let me show you. So guys, we have created the successfully the pivot tables, right? Based on three columns, sales, quantity, and profit. Let me do that in Microsoft Excel as well. So simple, I am going to create the pivot table based on category and the segment, let's say I put in the columns. And in the value, let's say I need sales. I need quantity. And I need profit. Simple concept, guys. Okay, so we can match as well. So furniture, right? Uh, 39, 47, 23. Okay, so we are having the same thing. The quantity of the consumer is 4,270. So we are also receiving the same thing. Okay. So we have verified our pivot tables. Now what I'm doing here, let me load this workbook, load the superstore workbook using open PY Excel. So WKB equal to load workbook. And here again, I am going to supply superstore.xlsx. And let me check what kind of, you know, or what are seats we have in that particular workbook. So guys, we have only single worksheet, which is order right now. Let me, you know, close this. 
right now I am going to create a brand new worksheet. So WKB dot create sheet. And here, let's say pivot table and category and the segment wise, let's say I'm going to sales, quantity and profit. So you can supply any sensible name, right? Whatever you want. All right. So I have created a worksheet. Now let me set an object. Okay. So set an object. So guys, for the category, let's say WKB. And this is my worksheet name. Easy. Now what I'm doing here, now the main process will be begin. I am going to write the pivot table. Okay. To the worksheet, which I have created as an object. So let's say for row in data frame two rows. All right. And here I have created the pivot table and I need index as well. So I'm saying true. I need header as well. So I'm saying true. Okay. Because in this pivot tables, index and header is also very, very important for me. Now for the category object that refers to as this worksheet, I am going to append the each row. Simple guys. So this pivot table is created successfully. Let me show you wkb.save. So let's say superstore pivot table one dot Excel SX. Very, very simple concept. Let me show you in the workbook. So guys, let me open this. So you can see here we have created the pivot tables. And here also we are getting the same information, right? Now let me create the pivot table based on state and reason in order to understanding the pivot table in greater details. So I am taking a pivot table one and again PD dot pivot table and DF in the values. Let's say guys, again, I need a three columns, which is sales, profit and quantity. And right now I am going to change the index as a state column, right? And here the columns I need as a reason. Okay. And now the aggregate function, again, the same thing. So let me copy from here. This is my aggregation. Okay. Again, the each column, like sales, quantity, and sum. All right. And now I need a grand total as well. Okay. So I am saying margins equal to true. And now I am going to supply the margins name. Let's say grand total. Okay. Now can I run this? And here pivot table one. Let me check what is happening here. So key error for the state. Okay. So let me, let me display the columns again. Okay, so we have a state and province. Okay, so let me, you know, revise the column name. Now let me run this. Now, simple pivot table one. So guys, you can see here, it is working fine, right? So these are the state and these are the, you know, reasons. And based on that, I need profit, quantity and the sales as well. But now look at this. Here we are getting, you know, missing value, right? Not a number. I want to fill this value based on zero or based on any value, whatever you like. So fill value equal to zero. All right. Now let me run this. Now it's look good. Okay. Now the same thing I am doing again. I am going to create a, another sheet. Let's say WKB dot create sheet. And here again, you know, pivot table and the state reason and again sales quantity and profit right and here uh okay so let okay that's fine it, it is giving me any warning that's fine for me now i am going to set an object let's say state equal to wkb and this is the object i have created and the for row in data frames two rows pivot table one an index equal to true and I need a header as well. This is also true and a state dot append and row. Let me close this file and guys is done.
easy. I'm not going to show that pivot table. I will be show later. Let me create another pivot table based on month and ship mode wise. So guys, this is my data based on month and the ship mode wise sales I want to display. So first of all, I don't have any month. So let me add a column for a month. All right. So I am going to write a month name equal to DF and here order date and DT and I'm going to find out the month name, this one. All right, now let me show you the data again. So guys, we have successfully extracted the month name. Now based on this, I can create the pivot table. Easy. Now let me do that. So pivot table to again pd dot pivot table and df and the values, let's say sales, and here the index I need, simple month name. So guys, it's easy, right? To create the pivot table with the help of pandas. And here ship mode and the aggregated function here I am using only for the sum. Okay, so let me do that. For the column sales, I need sum, easy. And now the fill value is zero again and margin is true. And the margins name again, guys, grand total. Now pivot table two, you can see here. Okay. Now again, let me create another worksheet. So wkb.create worksheet and here pivot table month ship ship mode and guys sales simple and now month wise sales equal to wkb i'm going to set an object again and here in the data frame two rows pivot table two and the index equal to true and header equal to true and now i am going to add my sales in that worksheet easy i can show you the sheet name as well so these are the sheet i have all right so guys we have created the pivot tables but our pivot table is not formatted what do you mean by this so let me open this particular workbook and here you will see let's say you know my i don't have any color or you can say that the font should be bold or any specific color, right? So there is no formatting here, okay? So now what I want, let me color and format the header of the pivot table worksheet, okay? So I need few functions from the open PY Excel. So from open PY Excel, I need a style and I am going to import font and I need insert the pattern fill. And from open PY Excel, and again, from the styles, I need import alignment as well. Okay. Now what I'm doing here, I am going to apply bold font and the background color to the header row. So for sheet and WKB dot sheet names. So these are the sheet I have. So right now I have orders and these kind of worksheet, right? So I am saying F sheet starts with let's say from the pt only those sheet i want to color and i need only the first row from each worksheet right it means header now cell dot font equal to font guys okay my function and here you can supply any color in the form of hexa or in or in this format all right and I need a bold, so I am saying true, as well as cell dot fill, yeah, and pattern fill. And guys, what is my start color? You can give, you know, any start color. So let's say this is my start color. And here my and color is also same. And fill type is solid. 
so that's how you can apply the color okay so this particular you know pattern for yellow background now let me run this okay so guys that's how we can you know assign a specific color or we can bold and italic our font as well now let me do one thing wkb.save let's say superstore and pivot table to dot excel sx now let me run this so guys we have created the superstore pivot table to successfully all right now let me open this so guys you can see here right the first header i have you know supply some colors okay and you can see easy concept right and guys you know sometime let's say people want i want you know this particular row in a merge cell right so how we can apply the merge concept uh, on the pivot table so this is also a very easy so simple wkb and the sheet so only on the last sheet let me do that let me show you the sheet name so guys this is my sheet name right i am saying merge cell right dot merge cell particular reference let's say from a1 to f1 and now wkb and that is called sheet and here a1 equal to sales okay i am right i am going to supply that value as well and wkb and the sheet and on the a1 and i want to supply let's say alignment so guys which i declare here as well right so alignment and then i want horizontal let's say center and for vertical also i am doing center okay now let me save this particular workbook in different name maybe pivot table 3 so guys that's how we can merge a specific worksheet based on this reference you can check whatever the reference you want you can supply based on that you can merge that cell and then you can supply let's say what kind of values you want in that row now let me open this so guys superstore pivot table 3 all right so now you can see here we have successfully merged as well all right so guys i hope you understood how we can apply the pivot tables uh, using the open py excel so we have applied the pivot table based on different different columns so guys please do the practice of this session as much as you can and in case if you are facing any difficulty in order to apply pivot tables and some other concept from the open py excel so please let me know in the comment box and for now thanks for watching and have a great day